All right, so this morning I'm gonna mess with these uh, engines just a little bit. I'm not gonna get too crazy. Um, see if I can figure out a couple things of how to start them remotely from back here. Yeah, <laughs> I said start. How to try to get them to start. So going to figure out the wiring and <clears throat> if I can get them to turn over. No belts. Ah, lots of lots of crap in here. Two of them. No one has a belt hanging on it. Time to play. both of them to turn over that's as far as I got it stinks I gotta get all this fuel lines out of here pull those probably clean them I had to put luckily the starter solenoid was in a box sitting up on top of here I had to pull the starter out of that engine put it in this one that one right there is not working, so I have to clean that up, see if we can get it to turn over. It's super hot out. Um, I'm all by myself and I have to run all the way up to the front of this and start it with a screwdriver. I'll show you how I'm doing that in a second. Couldn't figure out how to do it back here. But, I probably got to take apart this thing and clean it i doubt it's getting any spark because it should have at least backfired or something off my starting fluid so at least they turn over now uh, there's hope for them i think that's as far as i'm going to go with them today um i'll be super happy if it starts if either one of them starts because that's way better than i thought it would be i figured they were just kind of junk but uh I did open it just to see um I'll take some pictures too and I don't really know a whole lot about these but For a guy that doesn't know much about them, it looks uh, pretty clean. So we'll 
we'll see. Cut the wires to this AC unit and just ran an extension cord or extension cord to it from a generator. Only thing is, I don't have any of this shroud that goes around it. I think it's actually starting to blow some cold air. I just turned it on. So I'll either have to fabricate something. I might have to get creative on this thing. There's no knob for that. I might be able to find something. But this whole shroud that goes around it, I don't have. You shouldn't really do that. But. See, we'll let that thing run for a little bit. Obviously, it's not going to do any good right now because everything's exposed. Just whittling away at things that I didn't know about on this thing. I started cutting out copper yesterday while I was out on the outside. I'm going to run all pecs. I'm going to redo all the wiring too while I have it open weed through this mess of stuff um, got the carburetor being worked on right now for that flathead uh, Kohler 7.5 kilowatts um, I don't know if I'll use it I want it to start and run but I might buy an inverter something a little more efficient but that one will definitely produce way more power so that's where it's not producing really cool there. Still hasn't been on very long. It's working though. I don't have any of the labels, so it literally could just be a fan mode or something. Unless it is. Okay, so I've been tearing out wires. I stopped on the engines. Uh, I got enough information on that for now. Got the AC going. I uh, went through and pulled out a bunch of wiring that's got tons of splices. Really cleaned up that side. Uh, that was full of wires uh, and, and copper pipe that uh, had tons of splices in it. I'm going to use PEX and normal wire. Uh, this side over here has got a lot of the mechanical, uh, the controls for the boat, steering cables. I got a lot of the house wire uh, weeded out of there. Um, trying to save some of the cleanup for when people help that aren't skilled. Uh, lots of cleanup. I want to get those trays pretty clean. 
before I frame. I gotta get the floor in to start framing that, the way this thing was built. So if you follow along, you're gonna see the stages of about how this thing was put together. Uh, right now I need to do a stringer. I need two, of the, two more stringers and for this I put in a, a piece of plywood gusset to hold this 2x4 in place and now I know so on each end I made a mark at what I need left over uh, 3 quarters of an inch on each end measured up from the I measured up from the stringer uh, I got three and a quarter on both ends so I am making a three and a quarter inch little plate and I will just follow it and scribe it out it should make the same angle